Okay, we're going to play with NSLOOKUP here in this tutorial. NSLOOKUP is an old uh, Windows uh, command line tool. It's a program that will help us resolve domain name servers to IP addresses. So right here, I've got a command prompt open, and I can just type in NSLOOKUP. And what it's going to return is my DNS server locally. So locally, uh, my DNS server right now is this uh, DD-WRT. Uh, this is like basically my Linksys wireless router and this is my DNS server um, locally which is uh, 192.168.1.1 which is also my gateway. But what I can do is I can um, look up other uh, I can resolve other names to IP addresses, DNS server names or domain names to IP addresses to find other domain servers. So first thing I'm going to do is I've got, you can see here that um, I'm now in the NSLOOKUP program. So what I can do is I can start typing in commands here. Um, for instance, I can um, set the server, I'll say server space, and I'm going to set it to Google's uh, DNS server which is 8.8.8.8 .8 and I'll hit return and you can see here that's um, Google's public DNS server that uh, you can use um, and now what I can do is I can look up um, different uh, records so I can put in here let's see here I'll put in Sheridan.edu and look up there and then uh, it gives me an IP address for Sheridan.edu. This is a public IP address for probably the Sheridan um, website right here. Um, I can put in the name server for Sheridan.edu, which is the college where I'm at, ns1.sheridan.edu. And it gives the domain name, the public domain name server, the external public domain name server for the college right here. Um, I can, let's see here, set a, set the type, set space type equals mx, and I'm going to try sheridan.edu and see what happens here. And you can see here that it gives us the mail server information, the public mail server information for also for the college. And I'll do one other thing here. I'll set the type equal to a pointer record. And I'll type in the IP address, which should reverse back to the name server. So let's see here. 137.8964.16 and it goes out to Google's DNS server and which is at 8.8.8 .8 and then does a um, search for these records and it says that this IP address is the college these are two um, website addresses for the college so so it's working um, I'll set type to an A record. Mm, that didn't work. Uh, set type equal to A. And I'll type in Sheridan.edu. It goes to Google and it says Sheridan.edu. And once and then it resolves the Sheridan to an IP address, which happens to be a public IP address for the college. Um, to exit, just hit Control C and you've exited out. Also another way you can use NSLOOKUP is you can just try to resolve domain names to IP addresses. So for instance I could type in NSLOOKUP and I can pass it arguments right off the top. So I'll say NSLOOKUP Yahoo.com and it gives me from my DNS uh, server uh, non-authoritative answer goes out and finds these DNS servers 
for yahoo.com and this is a non-authoritative answer so this is not coming from yahoo's main dns server this is reported from other dns servers uh, the answer for ip addresses that resolve yahoo.com